delayed addition of oil and gas initiatives to the Inflation Reduction Act helped Democrats pass the sweeping legislation, but advocates for people of color and low-income communities fear the compromise will harm those groups. The act is the U.S. government's biggest effort yet to fight climate change, and it makes a targeted attempt to help groups historically hit hardest by the pollution fueling global warming especially communities located by emissions producing ports, highways and industrial facilities. Those emissions not only warm the earth, they also contribute to health consequences. But transitioning to greener transportation and industry has proven a costly and controversial challenge. The IRA, signed into law by President Biden earlier this month, includes about $370 billion in climate-related initiatives, with $60 billion aimed at assisting communities of color and low-income populations, who tend to live closest to ports, highways and industrial plants as a result of redlining. It also included fossil fuel concessions, which provide for oil and gas leasing in the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska and preference ahead of solar and wind projects on millions of acres of public land. Those were added to ensure the support of Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat West Virginia, for a bill that needed the support of all Senate Democrats in the face of total Republican opposition. The fossil fuel provisions will lead to more emissions, which are likely to be felt more by communities already most affected by pollution and climate change, advocates say. The concessions are unacceptable, said Nicole Wong of the Green Lining Institute, a research group that advocates for communities of color in relation to the challenges of climate change. Even if we make these big gains when it comes to investing in renewable energy, and, Clean Transportation, WH Explanation, Biden Signs Climate and Health Care Bill Now, Democrats race to explain its benefits breakdown, prescription drugs, taxes, climate change, what the Inflation Reduction Act will mean for you aid for frontline communities, those located closest to pollution sources and suffering the greatest harm from climate change, was baked into the inflaty. Its overarching objectives include bringing the U.S. closer to greenhouse gas emissions reduction goals for 2030 and encouraging renewable energy use, 